Student debt in the United States has become an extraordinarily large problem. To give you an idea, the student debt amount was about half a trillion a few years ago, but in the last four to six years, it has now ballooned to $1.3 trillion. And that's the sense in which this is not only a large liability, it is second largest in the United States only behind mortgages, but it is an accelerating problem in the sense that the amount of debt is growing rather rapidly. To make matters worse, the default rate is very high. Amount of debt in itself won't be a problem if people were repaying the amount they have borrowed. But unfortunately in this case, the default rate currently is hovering around 8%, which by standards of debt is extremely high. The way the student loan program has been structured, that makes this problem worse in the sense that those who borrow money and do not have a job that pays them well, those individuals, their debt is forgiven. And that's the sense in which the amount of default, 8%, is really in the cases of where students or those who have borrowed money have a job and are not repaying. So in that sense, it is understated. Okay. The proposal that I have made is that the government might want to inject a dose of financial prudence by trying to assess the credit worthiness of those who are borrowing for education. There are certain fields of specialization, STEM fields in particular, where employability is far more attractive than certain other disciplines. Therefore, the ability of students to repay debt if they are pursuing STEM education is far more likely than if they are pursuing some other fields of specialization. And my proposal, therefore, is to tie the amount that gets loan to students on the basis of fields of spe specialization so that it might be easier for students to borrow if they are pursuing, for example, STEM education than some other specialization. Of course, this will call for the Congress to enact a law which changes the rules of lending to be different so that, in effect, a nudge is provided to the borrowers to pursue a field of specialization where there is greater likelihood of getting a well-paying job. In my opinion, this is this kind of shift toward STEM education or towards student loans being channeled to the fields of specialization where employability is greater, I think is a step in the right direction. It will make it more sustainable. It would also give the dignity of labor phenomenon to those who are borrowing because now they would be pursuing a field of study where employability is more likely.